Hey everyone, welcome to the Android and PC channel. Today I'm going to show you how to control another person's Android phone using your PC. To do that, install TeamViewer on your PC. And of course, you can see that you need a TeamViewer ID which you'll need to insert here for you to control their phone. So now, let's give them directions. So, the person whose phone you want to control, ask them to go to the Google Play Store and install an app called TeamViewer Quick Support. So they should search for TeamViewer Quick Support. So once they are there, they should install the app and open it. Ask them to follow each and every prompt that they are asked to do. So here, agree and continue and they should pass through all this process. Click done. And now they are going to be asked to install an add-on. They should click download in order to install it. They will be redirected to the Play Store where they have to install TeamViewer Universal Add-on. Okay, installing right now. Once it is installed, then ask them to return to the app according to the video. Okay, now it is installed. Let's return to the TeamViewer Quick Support app. So an app is activating uh, so that we get a team viewer ID which we are going to share with the person who is going to control this phone okay so now uh, that person can send you his or her team viewer ID via whatsapp email whatever they want to and of course once you get their ID you are now in a better position to control their phone okay now come on your PC, insert the TeamViewer ID that they have provided you with and click connect. Ask them to follow each and every prompt they get. Now on their side, they need to allow remote support. So when this prompt comes on their phone, they have to click allow. And also, they will need to enable the universal add-on that they just installed. So they should click enable. And they will be redirected to accessibility settings where they should choose Team Viewer Universal Ardon and uh, enable its accessibility. Okay, then let's return. So, on returning here on your PC, you are going to see an attempt to connect to the phone, but there is only one step left. Okay, let's do that. So, ask the person whose phone you're trying to control to accept another prompt of quick support asking them to control their screen okay they should click start now once they do that trust me now you'll be seeing their screen let's look this is your PC and you are seeing their screen not only that but you are controlling their phone and of course you can enlarge this to see their phone in better detail and you can be able to control their phone in real time so guys this is how you can control another person's phone using team viewer just to give you a preview this is the phone which i'm trying to control and whatever i'm doing here is being done right there to the phone which i'm trying to control Yes, you can do this uh, if you want to help others fix issues. For example, you want to fix granny's phone and granny is far. You can use this method to fix their phone. And of course, remember that you can disconnect once you're done. Click the cross and of course, you can click another cross to disconnect from their phone. And of course, on their phone, the disconnection notice will be shown and of course, now, they are no longer connected to team viewer that's how you can connect and control another android phone using team viewer quick support thanks for watching like share and subscribe bye